Hello! I am Pam and this is my channel made by Pam. So I had a viewer ask for me to show how I make my labels. I can go ahead and give you a view of one of the labels that I have. This is one of my labels. Okay. So how I do it. And it and you can use other types of um, ribbon also. Like this is another one of my labels. So I have some gloss green ribbon and I just picked this up from the dollar store. And you can pick up a roll of it for a dollar twenty-five and it's five yards um, of ribbon at the dollar store. So how I start out, I'll usually take and I'll cut off a section so much. Now if I was to fold it, I would still have enough space there to stitch along it and still have enough space to do my label. So I was just experimenting with heating up the edge so that it has less fray because it does fray so that's why I have this little lighter here I'm just heating up that edge and that may have been a little bit too hot and too much heat so that's probably not the best example there but I got it too much in that blue flame there so let's try that again Just kind of keep your distance a little bit, not too much. My mistake was I got it too close to the blue flame in the product. All right, so how I start. Like usually, I'll just kind of take one of my labels and I'll just look at it for a reminder if it's been a while since I've made one. And I have quite a few made already. So, I kind of go with a little theme on my labels, like, I always have a flower and I have my name. And that's just the way that I like it. So this one is a sideways label, like this. Well, we can also make a... Well, with this thin of one, it's better to do it sideways. But we'll do it on this other. We'll do it right here, okay? And the ridges do interrupt just a little bit, but it's not bad. And then I, so I use the green for my middle part of my flower, and then I use the red for my petals and with my label I always do five petals I always have just the five petals and then I just kind of shade it in a little bit just like that and then I take my black pen and these are like pens that come with a kit um, of label making kit that I got from Joann's and so the label making kit that you can get has um, little like stencils that you can use to draw on the labels and then it has this like stick on um, like it kind of has like this glue behind it so you could just like iron it on to um, your project like I have one made right here that I did and I will size medium like I've even done little like ribbon things and just kind of done size medium so if I was doing something I could just put this in the seam and it would add that there and then I just kind of 
draw out my name. I do my M and then my A, my D, and my E. And then I take a blue to do my by on there. It's just kind of how I like to do it. So I use my blue. This gives it a little accent. And I always do a capital B with that. And then I do my Y. And I always just kind of, most of the time, I guess not always, but most of the time, I like to make a little curve on there. And then I switch back to my purple, to my black pen. And I may have made this a little bit too big in some of the areas. But then there's my name, made by Pam. So it does take a little bit of, um playing with and stuff. Just like that. So it's not exactly the same and usually the labels aren't always going to look exactly the same just because these are hand done. So doing them by hand is how I make my labels. Now, if I could figure out how to make a label kind of like this one. This one is one that I got from the store. Um, I got it in a package of stuff in it, like at a really good deal. Kind of like a thrift store. And I got a big package of these. If I could figure out how to, and I'm sure if I practice I could figure it out, but how to do an embroidery design um, with my choice of label for my um, labels like with the embroidery machine but that's how I do my labels I hope that was helpful for some and I hope you all have a wonderful day thank you so much for watching until next time stay creative